Mellow greetings to me, and T here, and we are playing Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. Uh, if you'll recall, at the end of the last episode, we actually passed out as a result of falling a little bit too far in the mines, so we don't have our usual load in today. But uh, we do have the Snowshine, Snowshine Celebration. So hopefully we'll get to carve some things and hang out with the pretty boys. Uh, for now, let's see. It is snowing today, snowing tomorrow, and snowing on the 27th. Okay, oh, good morning, kitty of my heart. I don't know if this one's a pair up or a competitive event, so should be interesting to see. Uh, for now, let's tend the critters. I do have to say I'm a little bit disappointed by the fact that there don't seem to be any negative consequences for passing out. You just wake up the next day. As far as I can see, no loss of cash, no loss of items, uh, no additional health issues. So it's a bit friendly. I wonder if that's because we don't have a doctor in town. Although, we've got the DLC, couldn't they use Marion? He was always totally my favourite doctor. Morning, Rabby. Okay. Apologise if you can hear any of the uh, background noise. My partner is working at present. I, in good fortune, have the day off, so sucks to be him. Let's sue me today. There's something guiltily decadent about having a day off work, particularly in the middle of a lockdown. But I feel like I've been ignoring my partner all day, I feel like I've just done nothing productive. Truth is, everything I've done I've been working on projects, mostly for the channel actually, um, but it just, I feel like I've done nothing. Belinda, why do you have all the bunnies trapped? Ooh, starry milk. You're in a good mood today. Maybe that's from trapping the bunnies. You're right there, Harvey. Maybe. Aww. Still the most adorable critter we have. No, not you, Lambert. Nebby. I hope there's an additional tier of barn, otherwise I'm going to have to get a second barn at some point. Alright, that is everybody seen to. Oh, let's go check on our makers. Oh, I can make a barrel. Let's do that. I wonder if I can then donate that barrel. Alright, I got one spot left. Let's put all this away. Oh, that's right, we really need to chop down some more trees. Well, I'm not going to be able to top you up any. You I can definitely top up though. Right, let's drop this stuff off. And you go in here, my pretty flowers. I thought they had another flower. Oh, I've got the marigold. And the peppercorn and the bamboo shoot. The raw diamonds, which apparently I need more than one of to be able to turn into a jewel, which kind of makes sense. Alright, let's make a three star mayo. Uh, 
Um, let's make some regular yogurt today. And we will make some goat butter. And we'll make some buffer cheese. Cheese and milk? Alright, let's put all of that away because if any crops are up, we're not going to have enough bag space to deal with that. I'm so really excited about this event. Less excited about possessing cheese. Ugh. Okay, that's looking better. Also means that we can't do our tool upgrades today, but those will have to wait till tomorrow. Oh, and I've got to replant some mushies. I can't give out items during an event, can I? I don't believe I can. But I should be able to after the event. So depending on what time it ends, I can run to town afterwards. And um give out some good stuff, so we will plant some shrooms. Because I haven't found anything else that Iori actually likes. And I am undecided between him and Ralph, my beloved. If you have an opinion, Iori or Ralph, please register it in the comments below. Help a girl make up her mind. Alright, let's put the pink cat away. And sage, and that, and that. Now, I believe I should have six star items on both of you already. No, not all of you. Alright, let's take back 22. 25 seems like plenty. Now I will grab a single shiitake and the mushrooms should be in here, yep. I have played way too much Harvest Moon today so my controls are off a bit. I do apologise. can be trumpets. You can be the other ones. Alright, critters tended, veggies plucked, and sold. Let's go see what this event's about. <gasps> Damn it, I meant to make some soup. Our family sculpture this year is absolutely spectacular. I'd wager it's our best one yet. Oh, that's some pretty big talk there, Jason. My family sculpture isn't too shabby either. I don't have a family. Can I have a sculpture? Hey, Nellia, there you are. Today's our Snooshine celebration. I got a feeling it's going to be a real fun one this year. Everyone's made their own snow sculptures to show off to the town. That's right, and we've put a lot of blood, sweat, and frozen tears into making them just perfect. I think you'll be impressed at what you see. There's a ton to look at, so take your time and enjoy the scenery. If you're feeling a little lonely, you could always ask someone special to join you too, yeah? Clem, will you walk around with me? No? You're going to pretend I don't exist? Alright, so yeah, basically we can walk around and look at stuff and speak to Clem when we're ready to go. 
Snowshine attendee. Where is everybody? Uh, they're not in the park. Is this a forest event? Must be. Apologies for the pause, my sinus has got the better of me. Um, oh, I've got a spirit. Seriously, where is everybody? Must be beachside. Seems like a silly place to have a snow event to me. And yeah, there we go. Everybody's beachside. Oh, I like the squirrels. Alright, let's talk to everybody. Hey, Laura. No, I have not frozen solid. Norman? I think I smell sweet potatoes baking somewhere. I hope they didn't forget the butter and brown sugar. Oh, that sounds nice. There are so many snow sculptures. I'm impressed by how much raw talent there is on display. They love it. Do you sculpt food? This fragrance. I've been knowing anywhere. The alluring aroma of food. <laughs> uh, it's so cold. It's the middle of winter. And you're not wearing pants. Wish I had some hot soup right about now. Well, I forgot to make it. I'm sorry. Ooh. We're supposed to be having fun, so don't let the cold get the better of you. I won't, Patricia. Hey, Gloria. I am dazzled by the efforts everyone went to in making their snow sculptures. They truly outdo themselves every year. And love it staring over your shoulder in a very creepy fashion. Awesome. Your couple? It's so cold. I'll take a look around once I'm not on the verge of being a yucko pop. <laughs> love him. Think. Do your best to withstand the cold. I will as well. Yeah, you'd feel better if you weren't standing quite so close to the fire. Damon, I'm too old to cavort around in the snow like a kid. Oh, where's the fun in you then? Heh, <laughs> if you think this is cold, you should visit my hometown. This is like summer compared to there. It's cold, but I have to tough it out. Oh, I'll give you huggles, Beth. Why is it all the amazing people here are unavailable? They're all spoken for, god damn it. Alright, I have to make a decision. I don't know if I actually have enough hearts to invite either of the boys to walk around with me, but... To observe the driven snow is to know purity and beauty in its most gallant manifestation. <laughs> Emilio? You've got to be icing over. My family went all out on our snow sculpture, so don't miss it. Are you guys the squirrels? Oh, you're the crab. You're the crab. My hands and feet are frozen solid, but a little cold never stopped me. Aww, I love you too, Roll. Ay, 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 making a snow sculpture is no easy feat. Neither are saying snow sculpture repetitively. Don't miss out on our snow sculpture. It's going to knock your socks off. You are wearing socks, right? <laughs> I approve. I approve. Maybe over here. Alright, looks like you guys are the last batch. Hey, Mikey. you got to see my snow sculpture. Come on. Can I walk around with you? Not too long ago, I was the only one putting effort into our sculpture, but lately Mikey's been taking the lead. Sally, you give me the side eye there. I had so much fun making our sculpture with Jason and Mikey. Hi, Blue. Wow, they're all so stunning. I don't know where to start. I've simply got to see every single one. There's like five of them, dude. Hey, Cindy. Oh, where's Raina? I wonder what kind of snow sculpture Mikey and his family made. 
We only just finished our snow sculpture. We really cut it close this time. It's so cold. Cut a let loose and shake off these winter doldrums. Seriously, where's Marina? Hey, Jesse. Each snow sculpture reflects the personalities of its creators, and I think that's beautiful. Aww. Oh, Simon, you're huge. I helped out a bit with our film of sculpture. Don't you miss it now? Ah, there she is. Oof, I'm chilled to the bone. That's the snowshine celebration for you, though. Beautiful, simply beautiful. Hey, Masaki. Snow has a way of freeing everyone's inner child. Oh, the fashion squad. Maybe I should take a walk around and look at the sculptures myself. Wow. Trust me, I'm a master at laying. A little cold won't beat me. <laughs> Whenever I see snow, I get the urge to dash around in it. Maybe make a snow angel while I'm at it. Alright. Who are we going to try, folks? Mm. Your sculptures this year are out of this world. Everyone really outdid themselves and then some. Alright, Ralph is slightly higher. Just slightly. So let's speak to Iori first. Temper his disappointment as it were. Pure white snow, blazing red fire, and the crackle of kindling set aflame. Indeed, this is bliss. Uh-oh. I think I don't have enough hearts to invite either of them. Looks like I'm going to be going solo. <laughs> Everyone seems to have forgotten the cold. <laughs> yeah, I can't ask you. Hey, Clem. <laughs> hey there, got an idea of how you'll be enjoying the snowshine celebration? Yeah, I'm going, Stag. Sounds like a plan. Enjoy the festival. Very pretty. I can see Mikey's influence. Aww. Wait, that's it? You're a nice work out there, Mr. Big Shot Manager. <laughs> Thanks, Lars. I'm glad the celebration went off without a hitch. Yeah, man, you did it. It's kind of surreal that another year's come and gone, though. I know, right? Time flies. Hey, you guys! Hey, Yokopo. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was awesome. By the way, the baked sweet potatoes are ready. You guys want in? I don't get baked sweet potatoes? Uh-huh. I want baked sweet potatoes. Yeah, okay, there's still enough time and day that I should be able to make some soup and run back to town and hopefully see everybody. What kind of soup can I make right now? Um... Okay, let's make some shellfish soup. I just need to go grab some shellfish. Wrong thing. Shellfish. Here, shellfish. That should be plenty. Come on. I wish to smother people in love and soup. Yeah, okay, it's not the best, but... Ralph, it's all I've got. Ah! 
Alright, let's go cut down some trees. Since this game wishes to block love. Although it is late, I could just go to bed. Actually, yeah, let's do that. It's been a big festival day. That's alright. I'll go give stuff to the boys tomorrow. Although tomorrow will potentially be an incredibly event happy day, as tends to happen after festivals. Here's hoping not. Let's have a bath to defrost. Nothing like a hot bath on a cold night. If only they made baths in adult sizes. Huh. Oh, nice bit of pockets. Excellent, that was what we needed. Auto save complete. And it, what is it with everybody taking photos of the floating plates? I don't get it. Is it just because plates aren't supposed to float? I mean, probably, but... Alright, no event at the door. Oh, it looks like we've got some berries out the back. Good morning, my beloved chooks. Unless somebody pops a star, we go on one pat and run. Mm, only two days left in winter and only two days left in this year. Which means that in tomorrow's episode we will finish out our first year in Pioneer in um, Olive Town. I am both impressed and somewhat nervous about that. Definitely not a common hapstance in my life. Is it Lambert? Nah, you know the deal. So do you, Harvey. Morning, Bill. Belinda? How now? So many critters. I'm coming, Nippy. Aww. You will never not be my favorite. <laughs> and that also means two more days and I can let you guys out of there. You can go roam in the sunlight. No freedom and joy. That'd be nice. Ooh, our barrel is ready. Wonder if we can donate those. Alright, we still don't have any more durable lumber. And we just ran out of bag space. What am I carrying that is taking up so much space? Ah, uh, you're full. Right, let's drop our... G no, let's not drop our gems in the flower box. Do I have any flowers? Yes. Alright. Put away the rest of the clams and the berries. We'll put gems in this box, which is presently not really serving a purpose. Except to hold random stuff that I don't have space for. Now you I can refill. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, 
let's just stick with the one. Let's go Buffer Gets. Uh, we will go with Go Butter. And we'll just make regular cheese. Right, let's go check on what's left of our crops. There shouldn't be many up. Oh, hey. Pepper! Pepper! Not quite ready. Whew. Extraordinary Harvester. I wonder what that does for us. Whew. I'll give it. We have harvested a lot. Put some stuff away. Ah, no, not all of you. Ah, you old Clematis. Clematis? Yellow starting to look the same to me. We're sitting on 24. Let's take that up to 30 and sell the rest. That should, with any luck, be plenty. Put away our daily supplies. Now, let's go see a man about an upgrade. Supple number. Oh, with 30 gold, we could maybe get the rest of the upgrades done. Is it 10 or 20k? Because if it's 20k, we can only do two. Please be open, lads. Whew. Hey, hey Clam. Ah, uh, there's 20k. Okay. So we're still gonna do the sickle, the fishing rod, and the buckets. Alright, let's do the sickle. That one always seems the most useless to me. And the bucket. And there goes all of our money. We'll make some of that back tonight, but uh We're going to need to not spend any more money for the rest of the season. Hey, Gloria. You enjoyed yourself a lot? Me too. Uh... Event! Come to think of it. Hmm. Hey, Vic. Well, hello there, Nelia. Something just occurred to me. You see, we don't have any particular name for the beach here. Should we give it one? I've been looking at maps and every beach I find on them has some sort of eye-catching name. But our beach is completely nameless. I can't help but feel bad for the thing. You must have a sense for the eye-catching as, as a former city slicker, Nelia. Why don't you take a shot at naming it? <laughs> Okay, those are some options. Um, sh shore, b -b beach. I like the Wahaha waterfronts. Wahaha waterfront. Wahaha waterfront. 
Not bad, personally speaking at least. Hmm. Any other bright ideas? The shore? Oh, but that sounds so tiring. It makes me want to yawn. Wouldn't it put everyone to sleep? Well, uh, how do I put this? To be frank, I'm starting to reconsider asking for your help. Perhaps I never should have asked. Perhaps this has been the greatest mistake of my entire life. Stop being so dramatic, dude. What? You have a few other ideas that you've been saving until now? Fine, let's hear them. B -b -b Beach? I regret everything. <laughs> so that's it. That's all of our immense for this year. I'll get there eventually, Raina. Alright, now I have to go find Iori and throw a mushroom at his head. Because that is how the people of this town convey love. I suppose it could be worse. Poor Ralph has to catch soup. <laughs> I don't disagree, but I didn't get any of the sweet potatoes. Oh, event. Hey, Sydney. Nelia, just who I wanted to see. Seeing how you're one of the newest residents of the town, I have a request for you. So, this might sound odd, but could you ask people what they think of my husband? Uh, sure? Why? Oh yes, Norman's such a nice man. We buy all of our ingredients from his shop, actually. He's always got such great products lined up. It's always been a big help for me in the cafe. Oh, I like you, Sally. Oh, Norman? We'll talk every once in a while about movies and such. He hardly leaves his shop and I'm always manning the hotel, though. It's like we both work 24-7. But I'd like to grab a meal with him sometime. Tell him that for me, would you? Hey, Clem. Norman? Yeah, I spot him fishing every so often. As far as I can tell, though, I don't think he manages to catch all that many fish. He told me once that he's happiest when he's just relaxing outside, since he's almost always indoors managing the store. Heh, <laughs> that's a sentiment I can relate to for sure. Well, you can come out to the farm and visit and get some fresh air any time you want. It sounds like he's doing well for himself here. I'm glad to hear that. Sorry I had you go to all that trouble. I can only come here on my days off, so I worry from time to time if he's getting along with the other townsfolk. But it seems like my worries were misplaced. Everyone seems to like him. Anyway, I'm grateful for your help. Thank you. I feel a little bit creeped out by this, I'll be honest, Sydney. That that was not that was not a comfortable experience. Hello, Yori. Have a mushroom. You have my thanks. Your sensibilities are refined indeed. I'm gonna assume that the enthusiastic bouncing up and down means you like it. The snowshine celebration is concluded. May next year have good things in store for us as well. Aww. We were all deeply affected by it, Dosetsu. Hey kids! Snowshine? Snowshine. Snowshine! And snowshine. I've already spoken to you guys. Ralph, stop! No! I'll be back, Ralph. I just accidentally ate your soup. Hey, Beth! Yes, no shine. It was shiny and snowy. I can't believe I ate your soup! 
What sort of person am I? I go to give him a gift, I stand right in front of him, and then I eat it. <sighs> I am a horrible excuse for a human being. Horrible, I tell you. Just for that, we should make him something fancy. I don't think I have the ingredients for much that's fancy. Because apparently, in spite of my personal beliefs, we have no onions. And no way to get any. Yellow pottage it is. But we're going to use the sparkly milk. <gasps> Ooh. That was a gold star troop. That will be worthy of you, Ralph. And this time I won't eat it in front of you. I hope. Ah, uh, cute puppies. Alright. Hi, Jack. Snowshine, I've already spoken to you, Cindy. Wow. Ladies, Snowshine. Snowshine! Okay, Damon, I don't like you, but you do have pretty eyes. I hope he can. I'll help him. Alright, Ralph, are you here? Ha! Ah. Ralph, stop, stop, stop. Thank you. I have excellent taste. I know because I ate the first one. There were some very impressive sculptures. Oh, you like wild edible fruits and berries, huh? I got a lot of those. I, I've got stacks. Oh. Yeah, I'm not that boundless. My energy is very bounded. Alright, still don't have enough marshmallows to update anything. Oh, event! Yokopo. Hey Nelia, can I get your opinion on something? Of course. I want Ralph to teach me how to play football. Problem is, I can't play the game if I don't have someone to play against, so... Huh? Did you not know that he used to be a football player? You should ask him about it then. He's probably hanging out at the ranger station as usual. Maybe he doesn't want to talk about it. Maybe he just wants to be a ranger. You came all this way to visit me? Well, don't just stand there. Come on in. I've got some soda cans in the fridge. Feel free to help yourself. You want to know about my time as a football player? Did Yokopo tell you about that? It was just a school team. Nothing major. My father's something of a football fanatic. He used to take me to the stadiums when I was younger to watch the pros play. On one occasion, I even got an autograph from one of my favourite players. I still remember it like it was yesterday. Boy, was I thrilled. So Yokobo wants to learn how to play, does he? He'd be better off asking my father then. He used to coach a youth team. The only thing I can teach people now is how to deal with wild animals and what to keep in mind when walking through the forest and mountains. Anyway, since we both have drinks, why don't we have a toast? What do you want to toast to? Ooh, to Olive Town, to the wild animals, to Yokobo's improved fitness. <laughs> Alright, uh, to the wild animals. Sounds good. I'll drink to that. Well, cheers. I 
okay, we just don't lift the cans? Ah, we're psychic. Aw, oh, that was sweet and cute. Oh, the number of cutscenes we've encountered today is getting long. Always the danger post festival. That is a gorgeous photo of baby spirit, Liz. Alright. Oh, let's grab these blood clams. I wish there was a way to level those up. Alright, let's risk it. To Sprite Village! Should be about you for another request from the sprites. Ah! Hey, Grass Sprite! Nelly here, I need your help! What's up? I was trying to act like Boss Sprite and talk to the wild animals, but they won't listen to me. What do I do to become friends with the animals? Like, you go talk to my friend Ralph? Um. Make a toy to get their attention. Ooh, a toy? That's a great idea. With the right materials, I could make a really neat toy. But I don't have anything like that. Nelia, could you bring me the materials to make a toy? Sure. Thank you. I can't wait to be friends with all the wild animals. Aren't you a grass sprite? Here's Jenny here. Yes, Jenny is. What you got for me, Jenny? Um, Venus comb. Interesting. What you got for sale, my man, boss? Eggplants, leeks. Ooh. Let's buy a tulip, because I don't think we've encountered those yet. And an olive. Nah, that's a lot of things. So many little coloured marshmallows running around. Alright, um... I've only got two left on 30, so let's bring Chef Sprite up to 40 and we'll bring grass sprite up to 40 and then we will start the clock again so journey sprite you're now up to 60 care sprite you're now up to 50 no that's a lot thanks Speaking of, let's go see Chef Sprites. He does give some nice freebies. Alright, Navi, let's go home. I need to find out what it... Oh, a cute little crab. I haven't seen that yet. You should hunt it down. But first we need to find out what it is that Grass Sprite actually wants us to do. Hopefully not run into any more cutscenes. This episode's already 45 minutes long. So far, so good. Make it in, we'll make it in. Whew, okay. We appear to be safe. Alright, so you need woolen yarn, supple lumber, and tough thread. I think I can actually do most of that. I need to check the wool and yarn, but I think I've got everything else. I feel like today has been excessively social, however. Aww. Alright, given where we are time-wise and the fact that I'm just going to spend the rest of the episode very boringly cutting down trees, I think we're going to call it there. 
Yeah. Ah, no, 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 no. I don't want to lose all of that. Thank you. All right, so we are going to call it there. Uh, if you are enjoying this, feel free to check out my other series, which is in the thing of me, What's It on the Hooja? Uh, but for now, this is Ronan Tia signing off, and we'll catch you in the next one.